a rookie a rookie class of contracts officially complete steven nelson contract details and some finally some personal branding to my channel coming up next What is going on? Yes, sir. Lindy Enzone in the building for the touchdown, taking the lead for the Eagles one video at a time and dropping buckets for my Dallas Mavericks any chance I get. Um, we got some branding, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I thought I'd um, you know, come up with a uh, you know, little piece of me today. Uh, did a little tinkering with coming up with a profile photo for my YouTube channel and threw it over on Twitter. Um, I do love how it came out, so let me know what you guys think on it. <laughs> I, I love it. I love the result. But um, what's up, y'all? We got uh, we got uh, some quick details to talk about here. Um, I'm going to keep this video relatively short. Um, but if you guys are new to diversity of fandom that I bring to the table, I love to have you a part of the end zone fam. And all you got to do to achieve that is hit the subscribe button on our way. The biggest goal coming up is a thousand subscribers. Uh, we're quite a ways away. Uh, we're taking it 10% at a time. I'm currently on the push for 200, which is next sitting at 184. Um, 55% of you, um, that watch my content or not subscribed, I would love for that to change. Um, and, you know, hitting the subscribe button is pretty simple. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is based on what I give you guys content wise. And, you know, I can understand that, you know, some of you may not want to describe it and uh, subscribe, and it is what it is. Um, you know, hitting the like button helps with the algorithm, um, you know, gets my videos out to further Eagles fans and. Mavs fans alike, and smashing the notification bell lets you all know when I drop my next piece. Um, I do want to I, I do want to apologize. Um, you know, StreamYard is continuing to give me issues for an unknown reason. Um, you know, my internet seems fine to me when I'm running other programs on my computer. Um, I got a direct Ethernet connection through a, a LAN cable. Uh, just restarted my router today, so I have no idea why um, StreamYard is giving me unstable connections the way it is. So if the if the footage does seem to pause periodically, um, I can't stand it for the content, but I do want to apologize ahead of time. It happened in a previous video uh, a day or two ago, so I wanted to get that uh, cleared away. Um, but without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into um, a little bit of the details here regarding our final rookie signing his contract in second round pick offensive lineman Landon Dickerson from uh, Alabama. Uh, <laughs> thank God, you know, a day before training camp gave us all the scare, um, you know, but at the end of the day, man, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know a, a situation in which he doesn't sign, you know, um, I'm sure that I'm sure that some things needed to get uh, sorted out here, you know, between negotiations uh, and, you know, re really figuring out where he is health wise, uh, try and coordinate some numbers. Um, so, um, and quote, he said that he's signed now and he can't wait to work. Um, his four year rookie deal is worth about uh, $8.7 million. It's 8.66, but we'll, uh, we'll round it up to 8.7. Um, his signing bonus is about 3.7. Same deal there. He's only going to count about 1.5 against the cap this year. Um, we've locked him down, ladies and gentlemen, with the rest of the rookie class. Um, you know, I can't wait to see what his true potential is as an NFL lineman. Uh, so, so God bless him that he uh, his knees stay healthy. You know, having a ligament tear in both knees, not great for a man his size. But, um, you know, as we've seen before, this this dude is doing, you know, backflips and, you know, backflips and cartwheels uh, in the background while uh, media is talking to Mac Jones at his pro days. So, I mean, 
the guy's an athletic freak for his size. So uh, shout out to Landon. Um, awesome that you signed, man. I can't wait to see what you do on the field. And then we'll finish this off by going into a little bit of the Steven Nelson deal. Um, it looks even better when you look at the when you look at the heart, um, the confirmed numbers here, uh, according to Ian Rappaport on Twitter. Uh, the Eagles are giving Steven Nelson a one year deal. Uh, we know this. Uh, the base salary is two point five million dollars. <laughs> now, for the longest time, we've been hearing that. You know, the Eagles did not want to budge on, you know, $3 million, you know, like the maximum was $3 million that they were willing to spend on the corner. Uh, they didn't want to go any higher than that. You know, Steven Nelson was one of those top guys on the market. He had interest in as many as 14 different teams. Uh, it boiled down to a couple of them. I think, I think the, I want to say, um, I want to say the Bears were involved. The Bills were involved. Um, uh, obviously, I think the Steelers were still uh, in that mix as well. And then you had the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, you know, this is a guy that, um, you know, if he was not released by Pittsburgh, he would have made about, uh, he would have went back to Pitt making about $8 million. Uh, the Steelers, you know, obviously with him getting uh, released, they weren't willing to uh, pay that. They didn't want it on the books, so they dropped them. And, you know, it, it's just crazy that he comes here for about 2.5, but through incentives, uh, he can earn up to four point one two five million dollars. So, I mean, hi Roseman, working his magic a little bit there. You know, shout out to you know, shout out to him. But you know, that's all fine and dandy. But uh, you know, he has a he has a long way to go uh, in my book in terms of you know redeeming himself of past mistakes and uh, you know for putting putting us in certain situations that we currently are in now. But I mean, he's off to a good start so far. The draft was the draft was decent all around. Um, in the past, I gave it about a B to B plus grade. I was I was pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, there's some analytics picks uh, in there. You know, Milton Williams, I feel, is an analytics guy. Um, and then you got Landon Dickerson. You know, with his injury history being picked up in the second round. So um, you know, and from the late draft picks were. You know, we're trying to figure out, uh, you know, who's going to make the squad or not. So there's a lot of questions there. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, this is this is awesome. This is awesome all around. Pretty good, you know, pretty good Monday to say the least. That we got uh, we got those two big newses to talk about, and then I'm happy about the branding of my channel, and uh, that's going to be pretty much it. But let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments um, about. The Landon Nickerson deal, what we now know with Steven Nelson. And uh, that's going to be it for your guy here. This has been Lindy. As always, fly Eagles fly, bleed green. Mavs fans, MFFLs, go Luca. Take care of yourselves, everybody, and see you soon.